Hello my crafty friends and welcome to an unboxing video. Today I have the new products from Art by Marlene and I'm going to show them all to you. Tomorrow on my Mixed Media Tuesday I will be back using some of these products for my project. And let's start first with the art journals. Marlene always comes up with new covers for her art journals. This time you get a hard cover which is black with gold foiled letters. You do get an elastic to keep the book together. And you get the option to get your art journal in three different sizes so you can choose your favorite. I'm going to open them up for you so you can see the inside. These are all ring binded journals. This is the handy size and actually the pages inside are about 5 by 7. There is a ziplock bag at first. This is really handy especially if you do a lot of collage you can keep your cutouts there. And although the outside is black, on the inside you see the beautiful art of Marilyn in all those bright colors. By the way, there are 20 pages and that's 300 GSM watercolor paper. For all the journal sizes, you can get refills in that same paper, the white one, but also in craft as well as in black. A great idea, which is something that I will do, is to mix and match those papers in one journal so you get the option to work in different pages every time. This is the next in size, it's called the perfect size and uh, again you get the ziplock, here is the art on the inside of all those covers. The pages here are about 7 by 9 in inches and this is the largest one if you are brave enough to go that big, which is called the artist size. And the pages here are about 8 by 11 and a half. Again, for these sizes, you will find all the refills in white watercolor paper, in craft, as well as in black. Now, I will go through the products from the latest release, which is called Bold and Bright. Down below in the description, you will find links to everything you see. So here are the stencils, big stencils, they will cover up a large portion of your journal, even if you work on the biggest one that is available. The designs that Marlene comes up with are always really versatile and they can be used in pretty much any project. And especially this collection comes with lots of flowers. You can see here the stamps, lovely big focal points for your pages. And um, you do get butterflies as well. So combining flowers and butterflies, you can make beautiful, colorful spring pages. Here's another flower design, again big focal points that you can mix and match if you like to create your very own compositions. Here is one with big butterflies but also with background stamps. And this is one with lots of sentiments that you can use on your projects, your original projects or even on your cards. It comes with two borders as well which I absolutely love. There is one more stamp that I don't have here that features a girl. Check it out in the links below. Let's take a look at the dies. This is a really unique die set. These are text banners and you can see the back how they come together. There are many different layers to put together each of those banners and I think that they are really fun to play with. Here is a big die cut background that you can stick on top of a colored background and it will give it a completely different look. A tie with leaves and flowers. Love that they are really big so they make a statement on an art journal page and a die that helps you put together butterflies. These are very delicate in design, they will come up looking like lace. And now let's put those aside and bring one of the products that I will be using a lot for sure. This is a sticker booklet, it features many different designs that you can peel off as you can see. I know that I will be using this a lot and it doesn't only feature elements like banners, flowers, borders, butterflies, but you can also find many quotes that you can use for your art. In my journals I like to use motivational quotes and this is packed with them. You will find them bigger, smaller, with different fonts and sizes. And you can see these are white on top of black. You do get also uh, the alphabet so you can put together your own words if they aren't already printed for you. But you do get them with black letters on top of white. So you get all the options here. And by the way, you will find the same page of colorful elements twice. So you don't have to worry if you love one of those elements a lot, you will find it twice. And of course you can't have a collection without scrapbook paper. So this is the 12 by 12 paper pad full of the beautiful art of Marlene. I'm going to browse through all the pages so you can see what you get. 
You will find that on one side you get beautiful, colorful, abstract art, while the other side is a solid color. You can use them as backgrounds for your art journals. A great way to use them, and I will show you that tomorrow, is to cut them in the size of your ring-bound journal and use them as pages, so that you can um, take advantage of those beautiful backgrounds. And now let's take a look at a couple of products from the Essentials line. Now if you see Art by Marlene and Essentials, it means that these products are here to stay. While normally collections stay for a season or until the new collection comes up. However, the Essentials are always there for you. First, let's take a look at the Rabbons. This is a package of six different pages. All the Rabbons are in black. You can easily rub them, you know, the ones that you transfer by rubbing them with a wooden stick or the back of your brass. You will find many designs as well as lots and lots of sayings and quotes. And I made sure to leave for the end my favorite product of all. So this is the extra extra large collector's book. It's from the Essentials collection, which means that it's here to stay. Look how thick it is. It is packed with thousand plus elements that you can just pop out. They make perfect focal points for your cards for bigger and smaller original layouts. If you are familiar with the die cut booklets by Art by Marlene, you know exactly what I mean. This is called the Golden Oldie, so if you already have some of her die cut booklets, you probably are familiar with some of the designs, but this is where you get everything. It's packed. I have already many art journals that I have uploaded throughout the last couple of years using many of those die cuts, and I hope you will find lots of inspiration there, and of course I will be using this booklet a lot. I know that I will be using it as well on my mini journals that I lately do, where I do only collage. These are perfect for those little quick pages. And I think I am about midway through that booklet. And there are even more designs that I haven't go through to show you, but this will take me forever, as you can see. Many, many different options. I can tell for sure this is going to be a great hit, so if you want to grab it, move fast, otherwise it may sell out. So at the back you can see these are 4x6, 24 pages, 2 times, that's 48, plus at the end you will find lots of pattern paper. Bright and colorful, just like always, by Marlene. These are double-sided and you will find 10 different pages. So these were all the products included in my box that came from Art by Marlene. Don't tell the other products, but this is my absolute favorite. Let me know in the comments below what you loved. I will come back tomorrow for my Mixed Media Tuesday, where I will be putting lots of these supplies into use.